So now let's get started creating a simple hello world application. But before that, I just want to let you know that if you go to the GitHub directory of React, uh, you should see that it has a lot of different uh, options for getting started with the React. I would highly recommend you to go through these things and study what's going on here. I might not be able to explain everything that is written right here that is pretty much theoretical. So uh, you need to check that out this link and you need to uh, learn more by reading these text. And what I have done right now is I have created an empty project, empty folder actually. As you can see on the left side, I have a project folder and inside this project folder I have an index.html file that contains nothing. It has a title, it has a body and an empty um, HTML parent element and I have a script.js file. It is an empty file. It has um, hasn't containing uh, anything. So if you are using another any other IDEs like Sublime, Notepad, Atom, Visual Studio Code, uh, you can just create an empty project and create these two files. So I'm using WebStorm and um, this is the UI of WebStorm. So let's get started uh, writing our React application. So I'm going to come down and add a few uh, script files for working with the React. So I'll go back and if I go to the CDN.js, I can also download the React file uh, in my system and add those files in my project and add the reference of those uh, JS uh, React files uh, directly in my HTML but I can also add the CDNs that can be fetched uh, uh, from the server uh, that I can use in my project if I have an internet connection. So I have an internet connection uh, always active so I'll be using uh, these files so I'll copy this path the simple react.js I'll copy this one and I'll go back and I will use script source and I will paste that link. And I'll go back and I also need this React DOM for working with the virtual DOM that is very important. So I'll copy this one and go back and after the React file I will use source and paste that one. Okay so I'll save this file and I'll go and run my application. I'll click on this Chrome button and I'll right click and go to inspect. If there is no error in the console window, it means that our React files have been uploaded, have been um, uploaded in our project from these CDNs successfully. If you have any error, uh, you must be including it in a wrong way. So one thing I want to mention here that in React we basically use, uh, we don't use actual JavaScript instead uh, we use JSX and JSX is uh, more powerful than the basic uh, JavaScript. If I search JSX and go to this link you can see that JSX is a statically typed object oriented programming language designed to run on modern web browsers. It has a different syntax uh, but uh, we are going to be using JSX but in this video uh, I'll be talking about how to work with the hello world react application using a simple hello world message and from the third video uh, I'll be starting using this JSX uh, till my last video. So I'll be using the plain old uh, JavaScript syntax. So I'll go back and to open up my script.js file. And inside this file, first I will create an element. I'll be using React to create an element. I can also use JavaScript uh, like um, create element. I can use, uh, in, if you have worked in Angular, you must know that we can also create elements in Angular. Same as in React, I can write const message equals to react dot create element and inside it first parameter should be the name of that element so I will write h2 that is the name of my element and what classes it uh, would have what id and the class so within the curly braces I will write id 
message I actually need to add these IDs and classes but I will not be creating it in the CSS file right now uh, because I just want to show you the basic syntax and the get starting hello world message using react so after that I need to write class name colon and it would be let's say message and after that I will add the in uh, inner content of this HTML element that is h2 so I will write hello world so I have created an element called h2 now I need to render this HTML using react so in order to render it uh, using react I need to use react dom dot render function and inside it I need to give it the name of my element so I have created this element this whole element and that is stored within this const variable message so I will write message document dot get element by ID and the first argument is the actual element that needs to be printed and the second argument is where we want to print this element so I'll be creating a new element in my index file that will be having this ID message container and this message is going to be shown in this uh, element so I'm going to save this file and go back to my index.html and inside the body I will write div id equals to message container and after that uh, obviously I need to add the reference for my script.js file so I will write script source and that is the script alright let's save this file let's save this file as well and let's go back to our running uh, folder project in my browser and if I reload it you can see that it has printed hello world if I go to my source uh, we can see that it actually rendered this element and showed the output in this element that has been selected with the JavaScript so I have used the basic uh, syntax of a uh, JavaScript but the recommended and obviously everybody used JSX uh, syntax uh, for uh, running uh, React applications. 